Okay, so hey everyone, this is Holly West. Thank y'all for coming back. So I want to come back with another video explaining how I used to eat. 2019, I was, I would say, even 2018, I was fairly healthy. And end of that year though, I started having issues with breathing and ended up going to the ER and they were like, you have chest wall pain. I was like, chest wall pain, what? Like, I, and they were like, have you been in a car accident? I said, no. I was like, where is this coming from? And so that was the start of, I guess, all these health issues. And now in throughout high school, I had heavy periods sometimes and I was anemic and, you know, so that was also just there. And I just thought it was normal. I thought heavy periods, I thought everything regarding heavy periods and dysmenorrhea was normal, but it wasn't. And I had to learn that. I had to see that for myself that on the floor shaking every month wasn't even still how it's supposed to be or indicating like you're healthy, if that makes sense. So throughout this time, um, 2018, they said chest wall pain, 2019, I started bleeding. The bleeding didn't stop. Six months later, I finally get a call back from my gynecologist. So throughout that year, we kind of just went to different doctors. And I'm going through this quick because I kind of mentioned it this all in the first video. So you can go back to the first video to see just this whole story. But throughout 2019, I was so discouraged, you know, bleeding for six months. And it wasn't heavy bleeding. It was just like light bleeding, but it was constant, nonstop. I remember doing a fast and I think it was actually before I started bleeding and I started bleeding on the fast or something and I was like what is that you know I thought I was sick and so I think that was my body trying to clear that up I could be wrong looking back but you know there's so much I can look back on to say what was this and try to figure out what it was but if, honestly I may not know which is totally fine with me at this point so 2019 gynecologist called she says hey we need to do emergency surgery july 4th 2019 the gynecologist called and said hey this is kind of you know what's going on we need to do uh this is what we think it might be we need to do emergency surgery a few weeks after that i got emergency surgery done and they basically found a huge cyst in my left ovary they ended up removing it they didn't want to have to remove the ovary but the cyst was so you know large and everything that it was a dermoid cyst and they ended up having to remove it i remember waking up from surgery crying i was just like what just happened like i was so distraught and i didn't even know they took my ovary at that in my fallopian tube at that point but they did and so here i am i want to say i was 19 maybe 20 21 i don't the ages really don't matter but i was still fairly young and i'm like why am i having to go through all this and i remember before having that surgery that god asked me a question he said do you trust me and at first i'm like am i drugged up you know i thought is this the drugs i was like no the lord is speaking to me and he's asking me do i trust him if i'm being honest at the time it was really hard and difficult because i felt like the lord was saying you know he was like gracing me to go through this but on the flip side also too just having people were basically just telling me things regarding like if you have enough faith you'll be healed if you have enough faith which i do believe that god heals us and he also sees our faith and i believe god heals today i believe he miraculously heals but i also believe he does what he did to paul he said lord take this away from me paul asked him three times to take this thorn away from him and god said no he says in second corinthians 12 9 but he said to me god god saying to paul my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness therefore and this is what Paul is saying now. Therefore, I will boast all more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. And in that time, I wasn't thinking about that scripture. But looking back, the pain I was feeling for those six months, I was like, Lord, take this away from me. Like, Lord, like heal me, like <laughs> restore me, give me life, like do what you do, Lord. And he asked me, do you trust me? So moving forward, uh, go through surgery. They remove the ovary and the fallopian tube, the left side. And, you know, after that, I was crying. I was just, you know, asking my mom, will I ever have a baby? And I started doing research once I got home. I couldn't really walk as much. I had to, my mom had to help me bathe and everything. I came, I felt like just, I had to become like a child again. I would lay in my room and I couldn't move. I couldn't get up and go running or do anything. Like I had to just sit there and I had to just listen to the word and 
listen to sermons and I was just so still in that season and I was just like wow like I had so many lies like man it's because of like all my past sins that's that's why I'm going through this and I do believe like sin has consequences but at this point I was already in Christ and I felt like the Lord was just teaching me stuff like yes I had sinned a lot in my past and I had did things that I was not proud of and so I was like am I being punished but really I feel like at that time it was needed it still makes me sad to look back on sometimes but not in a way that like I feel self-pity I just am like wow like that was just a moment a low moment for me and it felt like you know I had just I think got out of a relationship and I also just left a church and all this stuff had happened so fast forward now I'm in this place where I'm looking up Dr. Sebi I'm looking up so now I'm at this place where I'm looking up plant-based stuff I'm seeing all the stuff about plants are healing and you know vegetables and all this stuff it's just like fruits and everything from the earth is healing like a plant-based diet that kept coming up like to heal yourself you need to do a plant-based diet and I'm thinking about oh well Daniel Daniel ate vegetables and and stuff Daniel ate vegetables for a time period and maybe this is something you know I'm always taking stuff back to Bible and just like Lord what is this what is that and so the Lord knew that I desired to do what he wanted me to do like I didn't want to just do something just to try it but I'm healing at this time I lost weight um and so I told my mom hey I kind of want to do this plant-based diet I want to do raw vegan for some time and she did it with me she didn't last the first week with the raw Looking back, I understand why that stuff is hard. Knowing today, looking back, it was hard because I was coming off of eating just standard American diet, just eating a standard American diet, eating burgers, eating whatever I wanted to. And I had dabbled in vegetarianism before that, but I really didn't stick to it. So at this point, I'm vegan, you know, I'm raw vegan. I did it for 30 days and then I started moving into just eating cooked foods, vegan foods, but I had um, things such as beans. I had, I think I had vegan bread and all that types of stuff. This was one of those things where I was like, oh my goodness, I'm feeling so much clearer, so much better. And I was just like, praise God. And if you think about it, if you're coming off of eating artificial sugars, artificial sweeteners, high sugar diet a high carb diet low protein and I say low protein because I feel like I could have been eating a lot of meat but eating all those carbs it's like they don't compare and so eating a I'll say a moderate protein more so but just the diet I was eating which was just standard American fast food certain things I I, I don't ever classify before that I was just eating the craziest stuff my mom is a cook she cooked for us when I was anemic in high school she would make me a steak and that was the one thing I remember I'm like Every time I felt like anemic, my mom made me a steak. Keep that with you to the until we when we get to the end. But every time I felt anemic, I never ran to beans, I never ran to legumes or chickpea or anything that they say are high protein, plant based proteins. I ran to like I'm like, no, I'm craving a steak. Can I get a steak? Hello? Anyone? Can I get a steak? You know what I'm saying? So continuing on, I get to this point where I realize that man, okay, this is helping. I think I just want to continue to do this. So as I'm continuing to do it, it's cool and all, and it's good. And I'm thinking like, I'm going to be the healthiest, but I also started to form this mindset that meat is bad, um, or meat makes you smell bad or meat is, we really shouldn't be eating meat because Adam and Eve, they weren't eating meat, you know, type stuff. So I started formulating these opinions, these, um, false facts in my head due to the fact of how I was feeling so I took how I felt and made it created facts around just me (laughs) which I don't suggest doing that I really don't and so there were these random days I felt like I was being humble because there were random days where I would start to crave like fish my mom would be making these salmon croquettes and I would smell them I'd be like oh uh (laughs) I'd be like I need that But what in me, if think about this, what in me deemed salmon to be bad? Or what in me, or what information did I look up for me to deem something as bad? So this is where I get into the moral aspect of stuff. This is what I created. I created an aspect of almost like a religious mindset off of, oh no, that's bad. I shouldn't eat that. And now if you're soaking up all these plant-based vegan stuff, uh, videos, all that stuff, you can find, you can find anything you want on the internet. If you're pro-veganism, you can find a lot of people who are pro-veganism. 
if you are pro carnivore you can find a lot of people who are pro carnivore you know so whatever you want or whatever you're looking for you will find it like and that's what i was doing i was researching all the stuff regarding vegetables and dr sebi came up and i think a lot of the stuff he said or recommended especially for people who was on a standard american diet where you're eating artificial sweeteners you're eating all these high sugar foods you're eating all these seed oils all these oils that are just new to our bodies you're eating fast food who know has msg anything goes honestly in the fast food when you look at all this stuff and you go from eating that to just eating vegetables and fruit honey you're gonna feel healthier you're gonna feel like a weight was lifted off you and that's what happened but i deemed the smell and the taste or just like the the thought of like mm, i could eat a salmon croquette as bad and so i made this religious and so continuing on i finally got to a point where i was like you know what she kept making these things i was like i'm about to eat some salmon so there would be times throughout my vegan journey i would have like salmon and i felt like i was doing something bad now at this time um many people may watch this and may not be in the lord or may not know Jesus, but this is where I believe the change and the switch was for me. The Lord changed my mindset because at the end of the day, everything I was intaking from the internet, veganism is good and this is that and plant-based diets are the healthiest diets. Meat is bad for you. Look at how they raised this conventional cow. Keyword conventional. That is not all your dairy farmers. That's not all your farmers out in the world. They're not raising their cows or plump, pumping them with hormones. Not all farmers are pumping their cows and animals with hormones and doing the most. But what people are looking for local farms? I'll wait. <laughs> None of us. And I'm going to talk about me in the past. I was not looking for no regular farm. So demon all, you know, all this stuff like, oh, look at how they treat the animals. Look at all this we would have not survived in the days of like Israel having to sacrifice animals. That's a lot, let's just continue. I'm just saying that I think at the time I started to form an opinion of stuff that was wrong. Just simply put, it was wrong. I, my mindset was wrong. And if you're watching this and you're not Christian, I just wanna encourage you to consider this world consider how god made this even if you don't believe in jesus consider how he made everything and consider um the stuff you just see it's nothing like i have to say oh this is what the bible say about this no what do you see around you if we didn't have all this technology and all this stuff people would still be eating vegetables and some people more more cultures than not would still be eating meat you know like that's just how it is it just depends on what's around you so Going into this, I started eating salmon and my health started getting worse. Um, not because of the salmon, but I kept being strict. I kept finding these foods that were soy based and they had so much additives that, you know, I couldn't keep up with how much things I was putting in my body at this point. I started eating like the, I think you probably know the company corn. If you're vegan or you're vegetarian, you may have heard of it. And I know you're like, oh, well you shouldn't have been eating all that stuff. You're right. I should not have been eating processed vegan foods. And so I do believe if you are vegan, vegetarian or whatever, if you do it, just do it, do it right. I, I think at the end of the day, I don't, and you're like, well, how do you do it right? Just eat what's naturally given to you. You know, just eat what is growing. I used to tear some Impossible Burgers up. It's crazy. Burger King put me on and I would eat them. I said, my health started declining. I finally caved in. I was like, at this point, I was like, I'm going to eat some fish here and there. But I'm not going to have that much. Around this time, um, I did end up meeting my husband at a car wash. Funny story. But I ended up meeting my husband at a car wash. And at that point, um, I still was vegan. Um going through a lot of stressful moments that was a stressful time in my life and a very emotional time in my life and so I just remember just reading the scriptures and just like Lord why am I feeling this way or you know like what is going on I was reading first Timothy 4 and I'll never forget I literally gagged I was like what 
I was like, uh-uh, like, wait. I was like, have I been deceived over something simple as such as food? You know what I'm saying? Like, have I been led astray by the world by conforming myself and my mind to the things of what the world says is right? Anytime the world is pushing anything, hear me out. Anytime the world is pushing something hard, if you are a Christian, even if you're not a Christian, seek for truth. I believe the truth is God's word. And it's not just like, oh, that's your belief. No, no, no. The truth is God's word. It's just the fact that do you believe that or not? And this is what it says. It says, now the spirit expressly says that in latter times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are seared, who forbid marriage and require abstinence from foods that God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. When I read it, I said, I'm changed. When I read that, I said, oh wow, I've been deceived. I, I either humbled myself or I would have been humbled. And now this was a time period I had met my husband, you know, I still hadn't gone on a first date, but I remember like it was crazy because I had just gotten convicted. I remember just being like lord i'm sorry i'm sorry for calling what you created to be received with thanksgiving i'm sorry i called this bad i'm sorry i deemed this as just not unhealthy i'm sorry i, un I deemed it as unhealthy i remember before we went out on our date he asked me did i have any allergies or any food allergies and i was thinking in my head like well i don't eat meat but I had already been convicted by the word like I just read and I was just like you know what let me just say I eat seafood here and there so we went to a seafood place and from there on we went to a ramen place and we ate and from that day on I ate meat at this point I was just like no I'm free like I was like I don't care like I don't care and it wasn't like I still cared as much about what I was putting in my body, if I'm being honest, but it was the fact that I knew I had found this aspect of freedom in the Lord by him revealing truth to me. I was like, I don't have to be bound to some worldly um, ideologies or just my own ideology of what I think is right and wrong. And so I prayed over my food. We ate, we got married the end of near the end of the year there were other health issues that started popping up for me and i was just like you know at this point you know maybe i need to continue to look down this nutrition thing and so fast forward to even maybe like five to six months after getting married we discovered that i might need to stay away from gluten for this time like gluten has caused me to throw up have these reactions and at this point i'm just like okay i'm not vegan anymore but i believe that my gut was so was damaged um somewhere along the line it could have been during and after surgery but at this point i was just like i need to heal like and at this point i'm still asking the lord 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 help me like figure out what's wrong and he's so gracious and good that like he's not just taking this thing away from me he's like taking me through a process of finding and like learning about what he placed on this earth like lit literally learning about like the goodness of everything regarding meat and the goodness of everything regarding like herbs vegetables all that stuff and so I've been grateful this whole time because I'm just like it could have just been like a one done deal of like he heals me and I'm good and I keep going about my life the same I probably wouldn't have changed if I'm being honest if the Lord has supernaturally healed me I question I know he can but I don't think that's his way for everybody. And so this whole journey has been like a discipline process of like learning what's real food and why he placed it on the earth. And like, I started to grow this love for nutrition even more after getting married. And so we found out about the gluten intolerance. Okay, I need to stay away from gluten. I'm looking at all this gluten-free stuff, but even in all that stuff, there's a lot of other stuff. And I'm like, oh, what's all this stuff? And so we went through all these little fat diets, um, quick diets you know or just diets to try for a month or so and then we actually got my gut microbiome tested and stool um and sampled blood and I just learned a lot about what was going on in my body and so we actually took biome at that point this is not sponsored but we took biome it showed me all the things of what I should avoid for a time and it said beef and I was like eggs 
I was like, I'm not, not going to eat eggs. I'm about to eat eggs. But I knew it was only for a time. That time was like seven, eight months of like staying away from all these foods that they kind of were like, okay, stay away from, um, like almonds were very minimized for me. And I didn't get that at first, but now I see a lot of these vegetable foods, some of them they placed on minimize for me. And I was like, hmm, that's so interesting. And now I understand kind of like the compounds somewhat, somewhat of what they have in them and why sometimes, why some like, why some people should not just eat a plant-based diet. They should eat meat. And so fast forward into kind of just now and where I am, I feel like the Lord... I believe the Lord has helped me so much in every aspect of like spiritually, emotionally, physically regarding food and regarding like just all this stuff regarding nutrition because I had such a weird, different mindset about it. I would say worldly. Like my mind literally was conforming to the what the world was saying was good. And so that scripture in 1 Timothy 4, if you get time to read 1 Timothy chapter 4, it's such an eye-opening passage and whole aspect of like just the word prophesying what will happen and we are in those latter days we are in those latter times and the world keeps pushing this plant-based diet and it's not even plant-based because there's a lot of stuff that's not even plants it's chemicals and so at this point we just see so much deception regarding like food veganism vegetarianism even just other diets like carnivores like all these different diets like you can pick a diet but i would encourage anybody out there who's confused go to the whole foods if you're if you're confused i want to encourage you to go grocery shopping i want to encourage you to go grocery shopping shop for your produce Go around the store, as people say, the outer parts of the store. You really should be shopping in those. If you are confused on what to eat because you have been just boggled down by all these different diets and all what they'll do for your weight loss and what they'll do for this, start with the basics. I encourage you right now to ask the Lord, what does he want you to eat? This is a little shocker, but the Lord actually will lead you and guide you into all truth like his spirit does that so like if you ask him he's like lord what do you want me to eat he'll lead you to it i really think it's all about just coming back to how the lord has given us food and we're good we're good with what he's given us there's nothing you have to add or take away from that and so thank y'all for watching feel free to subscribe comment and like and i hope to see y'all on my next video have you thought about why do, why do people say i hope you see me on my next I hope to see you on the next video. Like, it should be, and you guys will see me in the next video. Because you guys will see me, I won't see you. You know what I'm saying? All right. The video's off.